So you might be asked to reconcile the actual to the budgeted results or to reconcile actual profit to budgeted profit or to reconcile actual profit to standard profit. So what is a reconciliation? Remember, reconciliation is comparing two different values. So you start with the one, you end with the other one, but you have to show all the differences or everything that caused the two um, the values to be different in between. So that's a reconciliation. So we, they might ask you to reconcile budgeted profit with actual profit. So we start with the one, so that you might be, be you might have to calculate budgeted profit in order to put it up there. So our budgeted profit would be our original budget. So if you think of the timeline, that's our original budget. So budgeted profit. That might have been for a thousand units. Then we actually sold one thousand one hundred units. So we had to prepare a flexible budget. So what is the difference between the two? It was the 100 units, and that would be our sales volume variance, something that you don't have to worry about at this stage. So just bear with me. So if we add or deduct the sales volume variance, we get to what is called standard profit. Standard profit is basically our flexible budget. So that's the value that we have in the flexible budget. And if, if you think of our table method, that is the flexible budget column. That is, that is where our standard profit values come from. That is how much should our profit have been. So what is the should have profit if we had known what the actual units produced would have been? So at this level, when they ask you to, to uh, reconcile budgeted profit to actual profit, you would start with the standard profit because your budgeted and, and standard profit would be the same. These two would be the same because at this level, they will probably not ask you or they won't give you uh, a difference between budgeted and actual units. So the units that they budgeted for would be the units that they sold. So we won't have a sales volume variance for now. Next year or at the future, a higher level, they'll introduce that difference there. But for now, um, just realize that budgeted profit is the original budget and standard profit is the flexed budget. And they could be the same because if the, if the flexed budget units were also a thousand, then there, there won't be any difference between original and the flexed budget. But now, because, now they asked us to reconcile this with the actual results. So how do we get to the actual results? We will simply take all our variances that we calculated. So that would be the sales price variance and then all the cost variances. So that's our manufacturing cost variances and other cost variances. So all the positive variances, the favorable variances, we will add. And then all the unfavorable variances we will deduct. And once you've done that, so if you add all the favorable variances to your flexible budget profit and deduct all the unfavorable variance, we'll get to the actual results or the actual profit. And obviously the actual profit is also at the end of the year. And that would be our right-hand column in that table that we did. So this is what a reconciliation is. And um, in some of the class examples or the illustrative examples, we will illustrate how to do a reconciliation like this. But most of the marks um, would be for calculating the variances. And there would be some marks then at the end to just reconcile our budgeted to actual profit or our standard to actual profit.